What is up people? Uh, Seven Barney here from Lads on the Farm 2016. Today we're up in the woods, cutting some briars off, some brambles overhanging. Because all your farmers may know, brambles are a right pain in the arse. And we like to keep our land nice and clean, so we decided to, uh, yeah, give it a bit of a tidy up. I'm up here today with my brother Barnaby. He's uh, gonna be, I'll show him you in a minute. He's got his uh, protective gear on because we're getting ready to do some work. Um, I'll just give you a quick run through some of the kit we got today. Um, we've got a still FS55 uh, strimmer. We've got a Honda strimmer. Uh, what, let's just check what uh, which one model of this is. This is the UMK42 425E Honda Strimmer, good strimmer that. And we've also got a Komatsu uh, Long Reach Hedge Strimmer uh, for cutting some of the briars. Um, I, in the back of my uh, tractor, I've got a still HS45 Hedge Strimmer. Two uh, yeah, two stroke. Um, petrol. And I've got uh, one of the new pieces of kit we've got is a still leaf blower, because uh, yeah. Leaves are a right pain here, as you uh, I'll show you now. Uh, leaves, literally everywhere. There's about a million trees in this, so uh, yeah, they're a right pain. So we need to give them a good old clean and blow them about. My gramps actually got uh, his uh, digger out today. Also, he is uh, having a bit of a bonfire, cleaning up some of the rubbish and not having to burn it. Burning it, I mean. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. Uh, it's the first vlog, which is uh, going to be a short one today because we uh, want to get on with the work. Uh, we will also demonstrate uh, some of the stuff we are, uh, how we use some of the kit. Um, so this is my Gramps uh, Kubota KX41 digger. It's a really, really nice digger. It's a one and a half ton. Uh, ideal for really him. He's 80 years old at the moment. Well, yeah, he has been 80 years old for the past two months. So he's starting to get old, so uh, this is a really, really nice digger. Really comfortable, and because he's got a bad leg, he can rest his uh, foot on this uh, bar here. Um, he seems to always have that bucket on. I think it's due to uh, he can get quite a lot in it. Uh, this is the fire. It, yeah, it's uh, kind of small because we burnt most of the rubbish yesterday. Um, we're also, yeah, as we're cutting the debris off, we're going to be putting them on the fire as well. We're going to probably be tidying this bit up here, all around here, giving it all a good old cut off, and um, yeah, then dumping it back on the fire. Um, I'll just get on the digger so you can get a little a bit of a view of what 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 we kind of experience when we're driving this digger. Um, I haven't been uh, driving a digger very. I don't drive a digger very much. I'm uh, actually really can't be using very well. Mostly I just use it for going forward and backward and like flattening the ground. It's basically the only thing I can do. My gramp is the only one who is uh, mustard on a digger. He uh, literally doesn't even look. He just gets on with it. So yeah, that's the digger. I think I think it was around about £2,000. Second hand. But he's just had the engine kind of rebuilt a bit. Uh, he's had a new radiator in there. So um, yeah. Our agriculture engineer did that for us. But yeah, overall it's a brilliant digger. It's, uh, it's done some good work so far and hopefully it will continue to do that. So yeah, that was a kind of a run through of what we're gonna be doing today. I'm just gonna be a, a video and a bit of action of where my brother's gonna be doing a bit of strimming. So he's currently got all his uh, protective gear on and he's uh, using the still. Sorry, I might have to speak up a bit because it's kind of loud here, but um, yeah. Oh my god, Barn, that's smoking a bit. Stinks. Oh well, uh, this is uh, Barney. It's Barney from uh, Amazon Farm 2016. While I'm at it, I'll just show you the vehicles of course we've chosen for this uh, job. My brother has uh, chosen the Kawasaki Mule, the four-wheel drive version. 
even though probably most of them are four wheel drive, but uh, this one's always in four wheel drive. So this is my, this is the mule that my brother drives all the time. I think he likes it just due to how uh, nice and uh, small it is, so you can, you can get into tight spaces, and also it's got the bit, the tipper on the back where you can uh, tip some crap out when he's got it in. So yeah, we've got the uh, tools in there. Um, my vehicle of choice is not kind of the vehicle of choice you'd really choose for many stuff, but I love it so much. Um, it's a TF2030, a little grey Fergie. Um, so this is, this is uh, one of the great ones. Absolutely amazing it is. Uh, uh, the man who built it off is absolutely amazing. start it up due to push button because it used to be the stick start. You know, if any of you have the you know that uh, you uh, push the button in here with your foot, you lift it up and you push it into that start position and it uh, fires the track. We didn't like that. My gramp couldn't uh, start it, which was kind of annoying because we sometimes like driving it. Um, we kind of, uh, we did the link box up. It was an old rusty link box, we painted it, put wood in the bottom of it and a little tail hitch on the back for the chain arrow. And um, yeah, my brother seriously has a problem at the moment with his trimmer. What's going on, Barn? Locked up! Oh, it's locked up again. Yes. Um, and we have got no nylon. We've got no nylon, okay. Oh wait, hang on, we have, we have. Oh, you have? Yeah, but I'm thinking of getting the DR. Okay, quite a good idea. So guys, we've got a DR, which is a push along strimmer. Strimmer on wheels, really. And it's a great job for cutting all the grass when you really don't want to be using a strimmer. Um, at the moment, as you can see, the strimmer has done not a brilliant job. Because it's, yeah, Are you trying to kind save of wrecked me? it. I'm just saying, Mom, that uh, I think the DR will do a slightly better job. But I'm thinking I'm just going to carry on with this. So yeah, back to the Fergie. Um, yeah, this is uh, such a light, nice little Fergie. Um, yeah, we also had a roll bar put on the top. We got the roll bar from the farm sale. I think it's about 90 quid. Recated it completely, sanded it, and recated it. Um, I think the only thing that needs doing to it at the moment is the damn good clean. I've got to get a crack on it and give it a steam off. So if any of you... out there but yeah we're trying we're trying our best to uh, kind of uh, show people what we uh, do um, around our farm 
So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more, uh, comment if you've got any questions about our farm. And um, yeah, we really appreciate it. So uh, yeah, be sure to check out some of our other videos as well. I've got a couple on there, just a few jokey ones. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching this vlog. Um, guess I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.